Kate Mila Falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today we're going to go to the north of Ireland, to Lima Vadi, one of the most scenic areas on the coast of Northern Ireland, and indeed of the whole of Ireland. Um, I want to sincerely take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you people who have been tuned in uh, to Irish Paint Magic series in the north of Ireland and to say you're very, very welcome and to thank you for the magnificent response we are getting from that area. So if you come up with me now here to the canvas, I want to show you what I've done. I have a 24 by 18 canvas and it's very, very important that you should understand that if you're painting at home, you don't necessarily have to have that size of canvas. It's entirely up yourself. But this one is very suitable for television and that's why I do it on 18 by 24. Now here we go. Uh, what I've done is got the coastline here just going out. There's the sky and there's the, um, there's the sea comes on in, in here to the beach. But all I've done, look, there's a cliff face all along here, and all I've done was just put it in with black gesso. That's right, in a few minutes. And now I want to get all this to, to slip for me. So I'm going to get the two inch brush and a little bit of liquid clear. I'm going to cover all the black area. Cover all the black area. Now it doesn't matter if you go up into the the whiteness of the canvas, it does, that doesn't matter. Now I've got to get myself some liquid white to cover the rest of the, the canvas. Now with liquid white, I'm going to cover the white part of the canvas. Now I'm going to pull this down right over the black gesso there, look. And funny enough, you might notice that this will actually make that fade away into a mist way out there. Pretty good idea if you want to make islands out at sea and you want them to mist, mist away. That's a good way of doing it. Also, I have a, a cold in my chest and if you hear me taking a regular <laughs> deep breath, it's not that I'm on the way out, thanks be to God for that. But it's just that I'm not 100%. Now so I'm going to go up here to a fail of blue, a bit of black. And look, there's very, very little paint on, on, on the brush. So blue and black there, okay? So, I'm be careful of the blue now because that blue is like poison, it's very, very strong. And it's even at that now, I have more and more, more than, than ever I need it. So I'm gonna put the black into it to tone it down, to make it gray, more suitable. No, that's a bit better. Going to go right over there, and here, right over there. Now I'm using a kind of, that's an exaggeration, a crisscross stroke, but that's the kind of a stroke I'm using. So watch it, watch it. Now here, down, and down, and right down then. And as you're coming down, down here to the horizon, lighten up in the stroke so that it, uh, that, that the paint will grade from dark up here to light down there. That will give you distance. Down here, I can do that, look, look. Horizontal, horizontal lines, and that will get me down here to where the sea area is, like that. Just like that. No problem. Now you can see how easy it is if you use the mediums. And all these mediums are available, just watch the old television. Okay, so there you are. Now, I'm going to get the filbert brush, I suppose. With a bit of uh, the black, I just check this black. This is a different black. There's, it's a formula and there's a lot of crimson in it. I'm going to come here and if I take this to be a cloud here over Lima Vadi, and I can go there, all along there, look. All along. Scrub it in. You can hear me scrubbing. Make the noises. This is a lovely part of Ireland. Many, many, many nice holidays I've had up here in the north of Ireland. And I've been up there at meetings and everything, and the people, even though they mightn't be as nice as the cock people, but they're very, very nice people. No, that's lovely. And while I'm here, I want to say hello to all my friends in, in the north of Ireland who I've painted with from time to time. Especially all the people in Dunloy. I've been there many times in Belfast. And to say 
thank you for allowing me into your life. And uh, we had some great times together. Now, I'm going to come here to white with the brush, and I'm going to pick it up there, look, and pull it out flat. Pull it out flat with the one-inch brush now. So the people in Dunlai, how are you all? I'm very, very happy to have met all of you up there on several locations and Belfast. Now, I'm just tapping you now. That's all I'm doing. I'm just tapping, and I'm picking up. I'm picking up the, as I come out, I'm grading the white out here. And now I'm picking up the blue. I'm going to show you the blue I'm picking up here on the brush. I'm picking up the color, and I'm going to use that color to my advantage. I'm using that as a shadow area here. For this cloud here, just as a shadow area. And let it all gray down there. All gray down. And again, I'm going to pick up more paint. And I'm going to look here at this area. And I'm going to go in right in there, stay in for a moment, and then move on out. And just tap away, counter change here, look. And again, just tap and tap and tap. And if you can tap, you can paint. If you can tap, you can paint. And don't let anybody tell you you can't. Of course you can. Of course you can. Now all along here, and there, wipe my brush back for more paint. Here now, I want counter change against that up here, and I'm going to go up again that like that, look. All along, tap and tap, all along. Now, as I said, this paint type of painting is for everybody. It's fun painting. There are serious artists out there, and the best to look to all those people, but some of us just want to have a nice bit of fun and a nice painting we can hang up in the wall at home and present to our friends and maybe to sell another one. And what's wrong with that? Now, I'm going to go away from it because um, what's going to happen here is I, I can overdo it, and it, it happens with everybody. So I'm going to get the one-inch brush or the two-inch brush, and I'm going to soften the whole lot, and I'm going to ask the whole lot to sit back. Come on now, Mr. Cloud, sit down there. Thank you. Sit down. Sit down. Whisper through it now. Very gentle. Very gentle. It's a lovely day. A lovely day above in the name of Aaron. Look, look. Very gentle. And stop it. Now, I'm going to switch now to, um, to the um, fan brush. Number three fan brush. This one. Here. And I'm just going to go way out there a little bit. Just beyond the point there, look. Just beyond the point there. The headlands are going right out there. And I'm just going to introduce a little bit of the white there. Because I want to pull the headland right in front. Now, there, that'll do me fine. Now I can go back in here and uh, introduce some of the darker areas there, look. Because we're coming in here now to more serious water there. If you see me looking to one side, I'm watching the clock. I don't know what we do only for clocks before they were invented. I suppose the sundials we had then in the sun. Okay, what I'm going to do now is go back up here. And I could do it with the fan brush, or I can do it with the filbert brush. I go into the filbert brush. And I'm going to have to have a brown. So if I'm going to come up here, I'm going to mix a brown. So I've mixed uh, sap green and crimson. They're about equal parts, and they should give me brown. I forgot my brown, would you believe it? I ain't got any brown, so I make my own by mixing the sap green and crimson, and you get the most beautiful, beautiful brown, warm brown. You could eat it, you could lick it. It's so nice. Now, there it is. Now, when you're mixing your colors, if you would just watch, what I'm doing. I'm picking the color off, off like this, and I'm looking in underneath it, 
and there's the collar. You can see the collar inside underneath, and I know I'm quite happy with that. So I'll just put that aside there now. Okay, so there you go. No. Right. So I get my filbert brush into that brown and come on up to the canvas now. And here all along the, the headlands there, we go in with the with the brown. Get the top of it fairly clean now. There's a I don't know, is there a watchtower or something up there? I really don't know what it is. Somebody will surely let me know from there from Lima Valley or my friends in Belfast or or over in Dunlai will let me know what it is. And all along the coast area there. Probably an old watchtower, I'd say, one time or other. Lots of them around the country. Right, and over here now, I want to get, there's different values between the cliff face here, look. So I'm just going to get a little bit of white there to create the illusion that there's a, a variation in, in, in the color there between the different cliff faces. Okay, there. So do, you'll be able to see one again, the other. Okay, that's fine. Right out there. Now we're going to get a, the knife, a bit of white. More a bit of cyan. A little bit, maybe a bit of black. And there's a bit of blue gone into it, and that won't do it any harm. Yeah, I'll try that. It's a bluey, browny colour. Not a very a pretty dirty colour now. And there's a cliff face all along there, look. I'm only suggesting it now, it's a long way over. Don't want detail, no detail. And then it gets a little bit vertical as you come here. Oh, we don't want him. All along there, there's a cliff. And it fades here now again way into the background. I don't want to kill the dark now either there, okay? So, with the... Back to the filbert brush, I'm going to get a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit. You notice I'm mixing with the brush. I'm going to put that brown into it there that I mixed, that nice brown. And that will tone that yellow down completely. Maybe a little bit of green into it. Smallest bit now. Okay. We just want to put a bit of growth on top of that, up here. Feel safe, feel secure. ATA Security. Feel safe, feel secure. ATA Security. Up here. Just a little bit, not too much. Not too much. When it starts to look nice, we all fall into the trap and put on too much, but be careful. There's no, that's fine. No detail, okay. That's grand. Now, clean the old brush. Another bit of the brown, the darker brown again. I'm going to put a little bit of black into that, the darkness. No, just the dark brown again. And I'm going to pull that right in front of that. And I'm going to push the other cliff face back down into the, down in there and there. And again now, I want to create the illusion that there's a divide just a little bit there, look. Just a little bit. Not much, not much. I'm just going to get the fan brush. I'm getting in my own way, so I'm going to highlight that so I can pull this cliff face a little bit further. Now, with the fan brush, I'll go in here, get a little bit of a sparkle in there, into the water. Sparkle. And that's fine. Now I can work on the other cliff face here. And I can get in here. 
and I can soften the lines of the, and the bottom of the cliff face down, down in there. Soften it down. Okay. Okay. And here now, again, going to get a little bit um, of the darker paint here again with the filbert brush again. And I'm going to pick that up there. And down. Push that other one back. Go back for me. And there you go. There's the odd cliff face there again. Right down. Onto the. We all know the, the famous song. Sung all over the world. Famous all over the world. Danny Boy. My God, if I often had a few jazz, I'd give him a rattle myself. I tell you the truth. Now these brush strokes are vertical now, here, all along here. Well, believe it or not, this is where Danny Boy originated from. Now, I'm just going to draw vertical strokes down here. Now I'm going to, um, I'm just going to highlight it a little bit down here again. No great detail with that bluey, dirty brown color, just to highlight that slightly there, look. And don't be afraid to let it break, so leave lots of little, lots of little holes in it, you know, for the buds to nest, and everything like that, nature itself to reproduce itself. That's their little home there, and they love it. Now, I am led to believe that this is where the famous song Danny Bai originated from. People in South Africa are claiming it. People in Scotland are claiming it. But I believe it started here. And I've done a little bit of research into it. And it was first discovered by a lady in, in, um, in the north of Ireland who had the blind fiddler at an old market. Had the tune, and that tune would have been known not as Danny Boy at the time, but it was known as the, Der the Derry Air at the time. Now, I'm just going to put a little cap on this before, before I go any further. Funny enough, that lady's name, that the lady that does yellow, had yellow and a bit of brown into that to tone it down. Jane Ross was the name of the lady that had the blind fiddler, and she recorded it, not by a tape, this was a long, long time ago, in the 19th century, and she recorded it and passed it on to a, uh, a chap in, in uh, London who collected old Irish music, and it was known as a derriere at that stage, and it, it came out at the other end of being Danny Boy. And there's plaques up there in Lima Vadi to uh, that Shane, or Jane uh, Ross, and they're in the, in the town of Lima Vadi, and, and uh, there's one in Catherine Street, and there's another one um, on, on 51 Main Street commemorating that. And it doesn't matter to me where or who and where it came from or who recorded it first day. It's one of the most beautiful of all Irish songs or laments. Now, it is said up in Lima Vadi that it was uh, written as a lament for uh, the local Cahan clan in that area back in the 19th century or before it, years, years, years ago. So I don't know. If you know better, you contact the station and tell me. Now, I might better speed up here. I'm talking too much. Now, I'm just going to get a few little highlights in there, look. Like. And here. Now, let's get on with the painting. Watch the clock. <laughs> I have to watch the clock anyway. They were right out. Big probes and everything. The last time I was here. Now, going to darken this all along. As you come in there. There's blue and black there now. Blue and black.
And before I go any further, because I will forget it in a moment, and you'll all be giving out to me about it. I don't know what this beacon is up here. Or it's, a, it's probably a watch thought of some description. I'm just going to put it in faintly. It's quite a bit away. So I get my little liner brush and a little bit of paint. Smallest little bit of paint. Somebody will write in and tell me what, what is that. But it's a very, very prominent landmark and it shouldn't be left out. It shouldn't be left out, it has to be put in. So there you are. It's in now. I would forget that in a moment because usually at the end of these things I'm under a bit of pressure. And uh, to finish up. So here I'm going to get a bit of yellow ochre down there. Coming on there to the strand. Be careful now with the yellow when you're doing this because um, there's a most beautiful strand all along here. But the, what I'm asking you to be careful of is if the yellow hits the blue, you're going to have a green strand and we don't want that. <sighs> There's a bit of dark cyanide, just there. Just to darken it a little bit. And here again I'm going to put the brown there to get you to go way, way, way into the distance and that will push it out there now. Push it right out. And that'll do fine. Right. Now, along here again, just darken that a little bit. We're going to get a little bit of the white up there with that white. A few little highlights along there. Now I'm being probed. My ankle is now being probed. And that tells me that time is running out. Now I'm going to get the fan brush and a little bit of liquid white. Liquid white. Maybe a little bit of titanium white into it. Well loaded, well loaded. And up to the canvas now. And there's a lovely wave coming all along there, look. Push up. Make the noises. Breaking on there, beautiful wave, breaking onto the beach. Just breaks on there. Lovely, lovely, thank you. Let it soften down. I can get the knife and a little bit of white. And watch this now. I'm going to take a roll of paint here. There's the roll of paint. That's it. And I'm going to turn that roll of paint down here and just lean into it and lean in all along. All along there. And now I'm going to get the fan brush again and I can pull that out to meet that wave that's coming in. That's the ripple being pulled back out when, when the, the wave crashes onto the beach. It pushes in and then goes back. I don't know if I have time, but I think I put up the old blood pressure of the, of the um, director of programs. <laughs> He'll be taking mouthfuls of tablets now. And I'm going to get, just in a few moments, he gets very excited. He has a clock in every pocket he has. <laughs> and when he hears I'm coming to Dublin, he goes on vellum and everything. You just come up here now. I gotta put in a few gulls. Okay? Now use the letter V. There's the letter V. Right? That's one. I give him a friend. There's the other letter V. Give him another buddy. And there's another letter V. Now what I'm going to do now is get a little bit of black, small bit of black, thinned out now with the liner brush, 
and at the bottom of the letter V, there's the bottom, one, and at the tip of the wings, more, the bottom of the letter V, and the tip of the wings, and you can get that song if you know it, come fly with me, and you can fly off to Lima Vadi in the North Country, and it's a magnificent area, go and see it, it'll be well worth your while. So, until we meet again, Goramila Mahagat, Shlan Lat, and God bless you all my friends. Feel safe, feel secure. ATA Security.